The Buffalo Bills took the field for the first time today since their teammate safety DeMar Hamlin went into cardiac arrest on the field while playing on Monday Night Football. And it was only hours after that happened when much of the nation learned the term commotio cordis for the first time. Tonight, while Hamlin is recovering, new at 10, News Channel 7's Shira Matsuzawa looked into what commotio cordis is and concerns some parents may now have. From parents to coaches and even those who perhaps don't pay attention to sports, what happened to the Buffalo Bills safety sparked conversations among people of all ages and different backgrounds. So we reached out to a former football coach and a medical expert to get their perspectives on what happened. It was this moment so many around the nation watched with bated breath. As Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin goes into cardiac arrest while playing on the field. Your mind immediately, you know, goes to thoughts and prayers and you hope for the best for the player. Ty Jones is the executive director of the Idaho High School Activities Association, the regulatory body that oversees high school athletics and activities in the Gem State. He's also a former middle and high school football coach, and he was watching Monday's game. I think everybody automatically was was really scared for the for the player. He says while this moment scared so many across the country and perhaps had some parents concerned and thinking of their own child who plays football. Football now is safer than it ever has been. Medical experts add what happened on Monday is uncommon. So uncommon it sparked conversations about a term many were unfamiliar with until after Monday's game. Commotio cordis is a Latin term that means commotion of the heart, and it's a relatively rare problem. Yeah, my understanding is we've had about 20 cases of this in the last 25 years, so it's quite unusual. Dr. Kenny Bramwell is an emergency physician at St. Luke's. He says he's not aware of any cases here in Idaho. I actually asked some of my ER colleagues and some of my cardiology friends over the last few days. Nobody has ever seen it. In fact, the only place any of these friends have ever seen it has been on our board examination tests. So While it's unusual, Dr. Bramwell says there is an age group that's most at risk. We are told that it affects teenagers quite a bit. And what has to happen is that the patient has to be the right age and has to get the right level of hit to the chest and it has to happen at just the right phase of their cardiac cycle. So it's unusual that all of those things happen together. And it's that hit to the chest that has some parents questioning if their child could be the next to get hurt. Jones says while there isn't a mandated way of teaching kids how to safely tackle a person, there are different approaches coaches train athletes to try and prevent injuries. When I was first starting out as a coach, we, we used the high jump mats actually to learn how to, you know, to teach our our youngest kids had a form tackle so that they had a softer landing uh, landing spot. There are, uh, you know, when a lot of coaches use form tackling, uh, they'll never take kids to the ground. They'll, uh, they'll do different types of drills. I, I would say without question that the vast, vast majority, 95 plus percent of all the coaches in the state of Idaho do a really good job of, of taking care of their kids and, and teaching them the proper way to do things. <laughs> As the Buffalo Bills safety continues to heal, Jones says safety is always top of mind for the coaches of student athletes and schools across Idaho. Oh, three, one, two, three, three. Coaches are better trained. There are, uh, there are more safety protocols in place. Uh, you know, in the state of Idaho, we, we require our coaches to take a sudden cardiac arrest course. Uh, we require our coaches to take first aid and CPR. All of our high schools, through a, a grant from the National Federation of High Schools, all of our high schools in the state of Idaho have AEDs on site. Those are all things that our schools have worked with and are, are required to do to make, to make the game as safe as we possibly can. Shira Matsuzawa, Idaho's News Channel 7.